open economies like St. Lucia's remains vulnerable to external shocks. Presently, crude oil prices on the global market have spiked. That means cooking gas and petrol prices will be affected. Government policy measures have averted further increases in the retail costs of fuel, which has remained unchanged since June 13th. However, for the first time in three weeks, the retail prices of cooking gas have moved upwards. As explained by Director of Research and Policy in the Department of Finance, Gemma Laffey, the cooking gas price change has been subdued by a million-dollar subsidy paid out every month to fuel importers. For this new budget year, um, implicit in the government's approved budget estimates um, was a projection um, for, from excise tax revenue on all the fuel mm -hmm. products of about $65, $65 million for the entire year. Um, if we're based on the actual what has happened so far for the fiscal year and should international oil prices remain at the current levels with no adjustment to the retail prices, we are expecting to actually be in a situation where the government will be having a net negative revenue collection of about $9 million. Um, but to get back to your question, Mondi, um, the government has to, so far for the, from April to, um, to present subsidized um, cooking gas quite significantly to the tune of about close to $5 million, on average about $1.1 million every three-week period um, for the subsidy. And there's been a very negligible collection on the tax revenue on gas and diesel, which has been close to zero um, for, for the most part for the fiscal year so far. When the COVID-19 pandemic affected St. Lucia in 2020, the economy tanked, dropping to its lowest levels in recent history. The economic recovery since then has been affected by other external factors, including the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, supply chain issues, and more recently, record high inflation rates. High inflation rates in external markets has had a direct impact on the cost of imported goods in St. Lucia, which has led to increases in consumer prices. Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, has initiated a targeted policy measure to prevent increases in the cost of price-controlled goods. Government has these goods, most of them are under price control, in that the, the, the price, the wholesale and retail price, is monitored by the government. Included in, in that price was a 6% service charge on these goods. What the government has done is the government is losing further revenue by removing that 6% on these goods. So what that would mean is that the new imports would be 6% more if the government had not removed this in this charge. So even if the price goes up, because as Ms. Laffey spoke about, spoke, because the price of the import went up, because the government has removed the 6%, anything you pay for it, it would have been 6% more if the government had not in intervened. That is as far as these basic control goods are concerned. Revenue to sustain government operations and services such as community wellness centers, schools, and road maintenance programs is mainly derived from taxes on things like tourism, retail goods, and commodity imports. Value-added tax and other taxes, including income and corporate tax, also contributes to government's revenue collection each year. From the Office of the Prime Minister, Rihanna Isidore.